Hi, y'all. <laughs> I was trying to find a quiet place to do my video. And I guess I picked the wrong time of the evening. Everybody's coming home. And even though we're set back, Naker, where well, you can hear everybody. And if it wasn't the cars, it was the goat. <laughs> so, here I am. This is what uh, we call yonder in Texas. And now I'm at the back pasture. I'm uh, being followed. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. Anyway, so here I go. I'm going to do my first video, like promised. And I'm going to try to do it in one take. So, I guess, what better way to start than to uh, testify, right? So my testimony should be appropriate. That's Luna. And I think it's fitting for what's going on. You guys need to know, especially new preppers, you are not alone. I just walked half acre of my land with nothing on it but a pool, a shed, and a trampoline for my grandbabies. And in my mind, that's unacceptable. And it wasn't that way before, and I'll tell you that story later, but my testimony for you today is that if it was not for the prepping community, homesteaders, I'm afraid my family would have not fared well in Texas after the storm. We're good people. We have plenty of things. We're not wealthy. But we had the means. And that's, that was getting me really hard. I started watching you guys less than two months ago. In that time period, we started saving water, canned goods, food that we liked. We didn't go for super long term. We went for six months, year, the usual that a canned good would uh, take. We packed our freezers as best we could, and including the one in the house, and then we even did the one in the RV, which is hooked up to a 50 amp on, on the home all the time to keep the refrigerator and so we don't drain our batteries. And that was another thing. When the pandemic started, we got an RV. That was our bug out. Mm -hmm. So, trust me, you guys, we haven't been doing any of this ever. Just the, you know, minimum, what you think that we need, you know, just for a family. <clears throat> Had enough for my kids and my grandkids in case something came up for them. But nothing long term, nothing to get through a storm. When... I started watching Lake at first, Lake Ferry Prepper. I love you, girl. TJ Preps. Ditto, sweetie. And we got us a generator and some backup fuel and backup lanterns. And we cut wood, unusually more than we would normally, you know, during the winter time, especially here in Texas, because. Sometimes we, we don't have a winter, so to speak. So, 
without getting too emotional, you guys, you helped us. You touched us and you helped us. And you helped us to start thinking for ourselves again and opening up to being prepared more than what we ever were. And I want to give my heartfelt thanks. I can't thank you enough. And I apologize for the shaking, you guys. That's my tremors. Um, I have MS. I have relapsing and remitting. So I'll be here for a while. But not without difficulty. But I deal with it. And I do get treatments, which... I'm going to do some videos about that too because I'm getting ready to go back into my super alternative um, to, to help because some of the medications are hurting me worse, for instance. Yeah. So with that, and I'll switch hands, <laughs> I really appreciate you and I want you new people even if you're alone, if you're in an apartment, this community will connect you with people who are in your situation that are preppers. And don't freak out and don't get worried because that emotional stress will make you sick. And that will come into play also in some of my videos because I'm a medical professional and I, I'm retired due to my disease, of course, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean my brain's not here. Trust me, my skills and my knowledge are here and I want to help. That is what's drawn me to do this because the fear of what everything is going, that ev about everything that's going on is sometimes worse than the disease. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So I wanna help. And I'm going to give you guys some tools and some knowledge and I'm going to help you ease your mind. Just as the prepping community has helped me. And there are people out there that uh, are on the medical side as well that are preppers. And I'm going to reach out and I'm going to uh, get them in our community. Well, that is Shimmer. Hey, Shim, please don't jump on my back. So, with that said, guys, I just want to encourage you to, to, not, to not to stop, to keep looking and keep doing your research. We say that all the time, I know, and I can imagine how that must go over with some people that are new. And, you know, maybe some people that, you know, gosh, I guess when you're, when as a nurse and, um, I have a degree in holistic studies. I have that natural ability to dig, you know, a curiosity, so to speak. And I've always had that. And I do understand that some people are, and sometimes they're too busy. I mean, my gosh, I was a single mother. I know what that's like. So we have a lot of things in common and we can help each other get through this and be stronger, stronger than ever. So anyway, I hope that I, I covered everything. I hope that I encouraged uh, everyone to, you know, take it easy, take, take baby steps, take the knowledge that you've gotten from these channels, these beautiful people, and do your research. They're guiding you. That, that is exactly what happened to us. Okay, and it just takes a little bit, just get started. And if you're here, if you're listening to these people and you are doing your own research, you, you, you're here, you made it, you're gonna be okay. And for the people who are not with, around, you know, at this level yet of, you know what I mean, pray for them. Be patient, and they're going to be here too, I promise. Look at all the new people that have come on board. 
it's crazy how much this has grown. Don't tell that that is God. That is God's divine doing right there. And you can tell because everything. It's all about love. Loving us, loving your neighbor, taking care of each other. That is love, people. Love is action, not a feeling. How we take care of each other. God bless you. And I'm gonna give you some more, I promise. I know this was long-winded. You've inspired me, and so I can't help it. It's on my sleeves. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. See you soon.